And hello again. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion painting that you see right before you. The other particular painting that so happens to be is a partial look of, you see, the most beautiful young lady in her teens, the Mona Lisa. This is a Mona Lisa painting. Also, there is a lady in it. I just have it opened to where you can see. Uh, a special. It's one of my over seven years ago I shot a picture of it and I knew about highlighting the dots at that particular time. I want to point out a couple of things for you to know about and it's going to be um, that the large items that you see here, let me turn on my light of marker yeah, sorry about that. And what you see here is you'll see these stars. And then you'll also see a dot, 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 dot. And then you'll see some more. And then you see tons of stars. And then you'll see more stars. And then you'll see this cut line cut across here. And you'll notice that these particular pieces that I'm talking about, ironically, of course, not ironically, which I knew, is a perfect match of the stars that I've mentioned in my previous. And you can see the scar on her chin. Well, the scar on his nose is going to match perfectly. And it's going to match these dots here. And then it's the main face in stars kind of like the Big Dipper. And then you're going to notice the stars in the circle and it's so on. It is Leonardo da Vinci's work. Watch. Dot per dot matches here. And some of his dots won't match 100% because I'm a micro off and he has that little trick of like 99.999.3%. You gotta be dead on. But you'll see where I'm talking. You see dot, 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 dot. I put it up, it matches. Put it down, it down. Now, you see your scar, put it down. See his scar running across the nose? Here, let me show you. You see this scar running across his nose? Now let me let me put it up. Right there is her scar. Boom, right there. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it down, follow it, and then there's the scar. Okay? You put it back up, it matches. Now let me zoom this down. Now you're going to see this highlighted circle here of stars. I'm going to put it back, match the scar and the face. And you can see all these stars. I pull it back down. There's all the stars. It continues. His work continues and continues to let you know that the Mona Lisa's face is plastered on top of his face. She's at a 400%, he's at a 100%. I pull this on down. As you can see, the little face, the highlight, the highlight, the highlight, and the dots. I pull this down. You can see the face, the scar, the other design. All these particular little dots, his, his hidden works like clouds. For many times I've been trying to say that these images, if I go to boot up a regular um, 
a regular Mona and I take it and I'll show you here comes the Mona okay do you see the frost in it let me open it up a little bit you, do you see these these clouds okay that's what gets highlighted in certain areas that he has put in to when you open it up under a different transfer you end up with them being highlighted of some of his other works. If I was to highlight all the diamonds or stars, there'd be a lot more. So in other words, this is only one portion or it could be eight portions uh, of overlayment. That's why it's confusing in the sense of some of the face has extra uh, stars. but. I have the answer, the reason is because this particular, and this particular, and this particular, and it just keeps going, he makes his face turn. So it's an overlayment over and over again, like a flip book. And for those who have been watching my YouTubes know exactly what I've been talking about. So this particular painting, which is of the Mona Lisa, is the same as let me find it here here it is this image when it's overlaid that's the way he is so I don't know what to try to tell you it's when you overlay it it ends up coming out exactly how I told you I just have to set it up but that's basically how he does his work it's in here so, there's no way in the world I fabricated any of this works. Isn't that amazing though? The guy is awesome. So, we put this back. I grabbed this. I don't even know if I set this one up right. Again. Oh, it's pretty close. There. So they were kissing each other. Ain't that something? This actually goes a little smaller. It even goes a little smaller. Takes a little work. I'll be putting that on my other YouTube. I'm just going to continue. I don't know what to try to tell you. I, except for I uh, thank you very much for viewing for subscribing, for the awesome comments. Keep up the good work, stay healthy, do what the President of the United States has. It's sensible. Um, and uh, whatever else you think that might benefit proper, let's, uh, let's all uh, stay healthy. Uh, God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens, and you have a beautiful, beautiful night. Amen.